when we work with land XML files, there are always updates. In this case, we'll import the initial survey to begin with. This is listed along with all other objects in the Civil Explorer, where we can access the relevant functions to work with the object. We begin by zooming to the tin and then editing the description on the information panel. The next step shows us the steps in defining the surface, which we'll edit later. The statistics and visual styles can also be accessed from the Civil Explorer instead of using the Properties panel, so we can easily display the contours and adjust the color details. And as we make edits to the tin, in this case we'll just swap the diagonals of some triangles, we see the entries in the Definition tab updating. We can select and disable them from the Explorer to return the tin to its original state and re-enable as necessary. We'll now continue by adding some smoothening to the valley area on the right. Over here. Notice that, as we complete these steps, they are all being added to the definition steps in the Civil Explorer. We can now turn the triangles off and add some of the new contour labels and spot labels to document the edits to the valley area. It's really quickly just clicking the place where you want the labels to be, and you can even move them. And now we will still add some numbers to the contour lines. But one of the most powerful features of the Civil Explorer is the ability to edit or update individual steps in the definition steps and have the rest maintained. We will now cater for the scenario where we have received an updated survey tin with some preliminary design by changing the file paths on the first step. We actually notice that the contours update, but we don't have to reapply the labels, as they also update. We also notice that the smoothening is still applied with the new file. So this enables workflows for collaboration with multiple parties, with Civil 3D, as well as Land XML, and is all accessed through the intuitive environment of the Civil Explorer.